Hey there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan and in today's video, I'm going to be doing another furniture flip. I'm going to be using one of my favorite paints, Fusion Mineral Paint. I found this really beautiful antique wardrobe on Facebook Marketplace and I got a really good deal on it and I thought it could use a nice makeover. Now, before you get mad at me for painting this beautiful piece, let me tell you that it is not in great shape. It was probably really beautiful at one point in time, but it has since received a lot of scratches. There are a lot of dings on it, but I think it could be really beautiful again with some paint. And I think it's the perfect size to go in my children's bedroom to house all of their extra clothing items and toys. I love the hardware on here. I think it's really beautiful and I'm hoping I can get it nice and cleaned up and those diamond shaped medallions on the front really just make the piece unique. The first thing I'm gonna be doing before I get started is removing all of the hardware that I can. That includes the handles and the magnets on the inside of the doors that help to keep the door closed. If you've watched my furniture painting videos before, you'll know I love using Simple Green. I think it's easy to use and it works. So I'm just going through and wiping everything down with my Simple Green and then I will go behind with a wet cloth and just remove any excess that's left behind. I want the final result to have a slightly aged feel to it, but I don't want it to look distressed or too chippy and old. So I'm going to go through and fill all of these little chunks that are missing with some wood filler. But before I do, I need to sand all of those places down with a little bit of sandpaper. I'm using 225 grit just so that my wood filler adheres. I like to just apply this stuff with my finger and then once it's dry, I will go back and I'll lightly sand to remove the excess. I'm also going to be sanding this entire piece, so I'll just do it during that process. I don't always sand before I paint, but because this item is going to be used in my children's room and it's probably going to get a lot of wear and tear, I wanna make sure that the paint really adheres to this. I'm not doing an intense amount of sanding. I'm just doing like a scuff sand. I'm basically just going through with my 225 grit sandpaper and just kind of scuffing the surface. I can't easily remove these, but I still wanted to clean them up and try to get them to shine a little bit. So I am using some Barkeeper's Friend and I'm just adding it to a damp cloth and I'm just gonna scrub it to see if I can get it a little cleaner. They came out pretty good and I also tried cleaning the hinges, but those actually came out to be more of a silver and I decided that when I was gonna get started painting that I would actually just paint over those. After that, I wanna make sure I get rid of all of my dust. So I'm just gonna go through and wipe everything down with a damp cloth. Like I said earlier, I'm using Fusion Mineral Paint to paint this in the color Lichen. I love this color. It's gonna look really good with the rug that's in my children's room. And I'm also using this Stahlmeister brush that Fusion sent me. It's beautiful. I'm really excited to try it out and see how it works. I have another video on Fusion Mineral Paint. I'm gonna put a card up above if you'd like to watch it. It's the first time I used it. I was always a chalk paint user before I started using Fusion Mineral Paint. And now I'm completely converted. It is my favorite paint to use on furniture. Because it's acrylic, it has a little bit of a longer dry time than chalk paint, which gives you some flexibility. It also is self-leveling. I feel like that always just gives you a smoother result. And just like with chalk paint, the first coat is gonna be a little spotty. It's not going to look perfect. I find that the final result is much better if I do two or three thinner coats than to do one or two thick coats. This brush is really lovely because of its size and the fact that it's round. I'm able to easily get into any nooks and crannies that are on this wardrobe. And I'm also getting a really nice smooth application with it. Thank you. 
I don't care to paint the entire inside of this. I kind of like that it still has some wood on the inside even though it's not in great condition. I think you won't really notice it once there's clothing inside of it. So I'm just gonna actually kind of create a border here at the front with my paintbrush. And because I wasn't really happy with the look of the hinges once I cleaned them, I'm just gonna paint right over those. Now that I have everything painted, I'm going through and applying my second coat. One tip that I have for you guys, if you're taking a lot of breaks in between painting, I know I am, I have a two year old and a six week old. So I take a wet paper towel and wrap it around my brush and then I stick it in a plastic bag and stick it in the fridge until I can come back and start painting again. You'll start to see things come together after the second coat, but the rule of thumb, for me at least, is that usually with darker colors you can get away with two coats of paint and with lighter colors you have to do three. And in this case I did do three coats. One of the best things about Fusion Mineral Paint is that it does have a built-in top coat. However, I want to add a little bit of an aged look to this piece, so I am going to be using a combination of their black and clear waxes. And you'll be able to kind of see what I did on the drawers and on some of the more detailed pieces. I wanted to add some age, so I just did black wax. And then on the doors and most of the face of the wardrobe I used clear wax and then I went back with a little bit of black wax just around the edges and some of the more detailed areas I'm using this pretty old and crusty Annie Sloan chalk paint brush to apply my clear wax and then I'm going back with a rag for my black wax so that I can kind of get into the grooves and really kind of control where I'm putting that and then you'll see that I'm using just a plain lint free cloth to wipe it away As far as the hardware goes, I wanted to clean it up. I tried soaking it in vinegar. It really did not do anything. I had read online that this was very effective, but after letting it sit for 24 hours and no results, I decided to try to use Barkeeper's Friend on it, and it came out much better. It wasn't perfect, but I kind of liked the aged look. I felt like it really went with the theme that I was going for. So now this entire piece is fully waxed, and I can go ahead and start putting it back together. I can put the drawers away and reattach all of the hardware. just love the way this came out. Let me know what you think of it in the comments below and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.